Darwin, what did you think kind of pulled you guys out of the whatever it was defensively or defensive glass in the first half and eventually pulled away from Phoenix in the second? I mean, I think guys just got their win, got their legs up under them. You know, technically this is the backside of three or four nights. And so um, with the travel and getting in at weird hours, um, it's that time of the year, man. You know, I mean, you can't um, – it's, I know if I'm feeling tired and coaching staff, you know, I, I can only imagine how they feel, they feel, but we just got to figure out a way to power through. And that was the message at halftime, pretty much. Um, we were able to put it together as the game wore on. We got a little bit stronger. Started seeing the ball go in more. Started getting some stops, holding them to one possession. But, uh, you know, it's that time of the year, man. It's, it's, you know, Phoenix is a private ball club, even though with those guys being out, they still got, you know, that's why they're considered a championship caliber team because of their roster and their depth. And um, they got a lot of guys over there that play hard nonstop. And so uh, they're going to push you to the limit and make you earn that W. And um, I'm just happy we came out on the right side of it. Technically, there's still so many different scenarios that could unfold. Of course, you can only control what you can on Sunday. But have you felt any of that, uh, th the team, just the uncertainty of who the opponent is going to be what, on top of having to play the games with this whole playing concept? No, nah, I, don't, I don't feel any lack of confidence. You know, it's just we have to do what we need to do to get, make sure we have the proper energy, the proper rest, the care, make sure we're taking care of our guys and their physical issues. Um, and try to come out and put our best foot forward. That's the biggest thing, man. Like, um, everybody's dealing with a little something in terms of whether it's injuries or things that are hurting. And um, we just got to push through. Like, the film study is even more at a premium now. Um, it's hard to get on the practice floor and do anything practice-wise. Mostly walkthroughs and try to, you know, make sure we get shots up, but talk through some coverages and some adjustments. But um, for the most part, I think rest is at the top of the list of things that needs, needs to be done. And, you know, we'll figure it out. But we feel good, man. It was a good W to get. And we'll come out and do what we need to do tomorrow to put ourselves in a position to finish the regular season the right way on Sunday. Darvin, how much do you think that D'Lo, Austin, and Malik help to carry you guys to do this tonight? It's huge. It's huge. For those guys to be able to carry the load and make some shots and, and have their own different segments during the game, it's huge, man. You know, the more pressure we can take off Brian and AD to have to go out and save the day or make every play, the better. Um, when they can just play manageable minutes um, and those other guys step up and come out and play well, it just makes us that much more dangerous and it also saves some gas for our, our, our two big dogs. Darwin, the Warriors and Kings tipped off about a half hour before you guys and that game obviously has implications on where things could end up playing wise for you guys. Did you have any awareness of, of what was going on up? Nah, up the coach? I'm just trying to coach my team, man. Like, However it falls, whatever happens, we just got to be ready to do what we need to do. And if that's a secure spot at number six, if that's, you know, seven or eight in the play, and I don't, I don't it, it, we just got to be ready to do what we need to do. And that's that's the way I, you know, carry myself through life and in, in, in this sport. Like, take care of what you can take care of, control what you 